Hey guys, Rolly is here for another unboxing video. This time I'm unboxing and checking every little nuances on the latest model, latest 2020 edition Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s guitar. And enjoying a bit of cognac as always. <laughs> so this is going to be a long and nasty video, but nasty in a good way. So stay with me. Grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a tea, coffee, whiskey, wine, beer, whatever you like and enjoy this video. Let's open the box. Let's open the box and see what's inside. <laughs> Here you go folks, 2020 Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s, beautiful hard case. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh mamma mia, here you go. Here you go. Nice, so this is the 60s model with the, with the correct correct pots. This is the iced tea color. I'm going to check the hard case later. Let's let's focus on the guitar straight to the straight to the point. <laughs> hmm. First impression weight uh, it's not the lightest and not the heaviest. It's definitely not below 8 and definitely not much above 9. I think I think it's about 9 pounds, around 9, 9 ish. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what people want. Non non chambered, non chambered Les Paul standard. So what did we get? <laughs> Heavy Les Paul. <laughs> non weight relief, non chamber, nothing. Nice, nice chunk of wood here oh my god it looks like it looks like one piece looks like a one piece body but it should on the specs they say it's it's two pieces of mahogany i tell you what i couldn't see any center joint here so it looks like this is a looks like it's a one one piece but i'm not not 100 percent sure Not hundred percent sure. It looks beautiful though. It looks beautiful. Check this out. Nice, nice looking back. I like it. I really like it. Nice smell as well, obviously. Nitro finish. Uh, yes. So this is the 60s model with a beautiful top on it. I really like the top. First impression, great looking. First impression, uh, it's not the lightest and not the heaviest, somewhere in the middle, and uh, a very, very nice looking top. I like the top already. Uh, the usual bridge, the pickups, and uh, and the 60s, 60s looking pot. Another great impression, another great first impression very very dark rosewood fretboard which is amazing i really dig that i really dig that i don't like that it's too brown but this is almost like almost like ebony color it's it's beautiful very nice dark dark rosewood on it no usual headstock uh, grover grover tuners just a good looking Les Paul. Let's see if I can let's see if I can find any issues with the binding as usually I, I that's one of the things I check out on the guitar. So let's see the if the quality control is good enough this time. I tell you what this is bang on. This is absolutely bang on. Plastics great. There's no no gaps between the Pickup covers, the pickup rings, and the uh, and the body, quite well done. It looks like it's been set up. So, yeah, it looks like it's been set up. Uh, 
yeah, obviously out of tune, I have to tune it, but that's not a big thing. That's that's what I expected. That's I just tested it because because I I got some guitars that arrived and they were still in tune. <laughs> no, this is not bad, but yeah. So first impression, first impression. This is a very well, another one. This is the third one from the range. If you follow me on my channel, I already tested two guitars from this, from this range. One it was a 50s gold top and another one was a 50s tobacco Les Paul standards from the same range, 2020 uh, Les Paul standards. Both, both of the guitars were absolutely spot on, bang on. I didn't find any issues on them. I tried to find, I always try to find. Uh, and I always emphasize the good things and I always show the bad things if I find one so I mean these are that honest With you so I don't hide any any of my feelings. I tell you what I Can't see any problem on this. This is the third guitar from this new era as they call it from this new Gibson era and this is This is spot on bang on spotless What word should I use? And this is great, this is great. So I, I think we can say Gibson's quality control is back in the game. <laughs> Which is a good thing. That's nice, this is, this is nice, this is nice. I think let's plug it in, let's see what's going on. <laughs> Guys, before I start to play, let me show you the simplest signal chain in the history of guitar demoing. <laughs> guitar, cable, fender cable, I'm so sorry. Straight to the boogie, no pedals, nothing. Just straight into these beautiful amplifiers. Anytime, anytime I put a pedal in front of this amp or through the FX loop, I think this amp just sounds worse. <laughs> this is the best one, straight to the boogie. <laughs> so, Let's check this guitar out now. <laughs> What do you think guys, how do you like the first words of this guitar? <laughs> My first impression, great sound, amazing sound, but definitely the slimmest, thinnest neck uh, what I ever tried in the last post. This is for those people who really like thin necks. I'm not that person, I really like big chunky necks, but you know what, it's enjoyable. I can play on it all night long. I just prefer the big, massive baseball style neck. Like, that's my perversion, maybe. <laughs> Sorry for being a guitar pervert, but I like big, massive, chunky baseball neck. Like, uh, baseball bat style necks like, on a, on a Les Paul. 
So this is a very thin, this is the 60s slim taper style neck. Uh, I gotta tell you folks, absolutely spot on work on the frets and on the fretboard edges. I can't feel anything, anything, zero, zero bad frets or unfinished uh, unfinished frets or anything. This plays like butter straight from the box. I think because this was an X display model, so this was an X display model obviously. Uh, so I think somebody at the shop set it up uh, because it plays great already. The action is very nice. And so let's keep on playing. <laughs> said this was an X display model and I think the shop set it up because it just plays like booter straight out of the box which is always a good sign great guitar enjoyable guitar sounds and plays great so these latest Gibson Les Paul standard guitars are worth every single penny <laughs> really like it really like it and this is the third guitar from the range and all three including this one all three were absolutely spotless I couldn't see any problems very nice quality control great pickups beautiful rosewood fretboard great fretboard edges and fretwork what else do we need what else do we need uh, yes let's have a listen some overdrive sounds I think that's what we need now <laughs> Before I move that plug to the number one hole, which is the overdrive channel on the boogie, <laughs> I need a bit of cognac. That makes my English and that makes my playing a bit smoother. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, the guitar looks, sounds and plays beautiful. So let's have a look at the case and the case candy. <laughs> So, comes with a. Is it, is it branded? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, yeah, it comes with a Gibson strap. The black bag. Let's see what's inside. Because the case. So, I like this case. Beautiful. I think, yes, I would move inside the case. This is a beautiful red velvet. It looks like a brothel. <laughs> so, this is the case candy here in this black bag. Let's see what's inside. Only a Gibson is good enough, uh, apart from a PRS. <laughs> And the friend is strong, but anyway. <laughs> Gibson owner's manual, don't fucking read it. If you read the manual of a guitar, that something is not right with you. <laughs> uh, a picture, a very fucking picture. You know what? My dad, my dad took this sort of this quality pictures but 20 years ago with a with his Russian photo machine <laughs> what the fuck is this and why <laughs> everything is wrong on this picture anyway so out of focus blurry no idea why oh so this is the inspection sheet don't lose this this is quite cool I really like it so TG, packed by TG, inspected by. I can't bloody read it, but whoever inspected this guitar and whoever did the final assembly and the quality control and things like that, worth a bit of cognac. <laughs> so, Rolly is drinking a bit of cognac for this person who I can't read the name of. <laughs> anyway, so this guitar was born in 2020. The 28th of September 2020. So this is a quiet young guitar. So don't forget it. This is a guitar. So it gets better and better every single year. So play a lot on it and it will become a perfect instrument because it's quite new now, you know, but it's going to be better if you play a lot on it. <laughs> so whoever put this guitar together worth deserved a cognac from me. <laughs> What else inside? Oh, it comes with a Les Paul standard truss road cover, if you fancy, put it on. It comes with a cleaning cloth, it's, it's not unopened. And it comes with this great Gibson tool, so it has everything that you need. Uh, everything you need to set up the guitar or cock it up. <laughs> Be careful with this, you can cock it up if you are not careful. So, so you can set up your own guitar, which is quite important to, be, to build up a personal relationship with it. So do it yourself, check it out on YouTube how to do it, it's very easy. Don't take it to a guitar tech, please, please, if you buy this quality guitar, spend a bit of time on YouTube and educate yourself. You got the tools, you got the tools here, and educate yourself how to set it up for yourself, for your taste. You can do everything, easy peasy, don't take it to a guitar tech. It helps to build up a beautiful relationship with the instrument, so do it yourself. <laughs> Roll is number one advice, do it yourself. <laughs> So this beautiful guitar is available on my website, rollisguitars.co.uk. Check it out if you are interested. <laughs> and please drop me a like and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. <laughs> life is beautiful and life is even more beautiful if you got a nice guitar collection. <laughs> and I can help you with that. Bye-bye. <laughs>